Like, because let me show you this, like, and then you have to understand this, right? Um, a lot of times it's not projects against projects. It's clicks inside projects against clicks inside projects. You see what I'm saying? So, like, they know swing and they know swing. So, everybody don't get into That's why our times were so different. That's why when people tell you like an out time, they wasn't coming to shoot at everybody, they wasn't mad with everybody. They wasn't if they weren't beefing with everybody. Sure. You dig? Like we got kids in each other projects and all that kind of stuff. You're not about to come back there just shooting your might shoot your niece. I'm just t because like that that we just was like that as in our times are coming up. So like as in we're here. Oh yeah, they about to swing back here, get them kids from out here. Phew, everybody shooting, get their kids from out there. They don't want no say in our time to them gangsters, they don't want nobody in the way of their bullets. They was trying to hit who they wanted to hit. Like, yeah, we want y'all. So it was a different thing of that. Like, that's why you ain't hear that many kids getting killed and women getting killed. Boy, y'all ain't got nothing to do with this business. Man, can you talk about it? It's this gangster man. You mentioned uh something Maurice. Uh, Eric Maurice. You said that was one of the people you looked up to coming up. Can you mm -hmm. can you touch on him? I ain't I haven't saw like, too many people. Eric Maurice about. just like he stayed right around the corner from me. There was somebody who I looked up to when I was young. Like he was one of the ones. But like all I would like I and that project, like all out, even like Black and More, if you think about people like Black and More, everybody tell you how fly he was. Like that know you like we putting on clothes, so we had, like, even getting them, uh, anybody, like, think Stone, um, <laughs> Booby Black, yeah. like, just look at, like, uh, we, we, that know you, like, we put on clothes, Jerker Man, the Twins, yeah, like, you just gotta think about, we put on clothes, like, them, like, think about this, like, right, and, and, and I was laughing at this one day when I saw the, um, the Dooney boys talking about the iceberg and all that, right? Yeah. So, man, Spitter was already on it. But, like, the, the dudes, the first ones coming like that, like that. So, they was getting money. Do, all that that they say about them and all that, right? That's what they was wearing. Them dudes riding in Houston on the weekend to go get their clothes. Like, and I, that's what I think, like, they, a lot of people don't understand how much money them the dudes was getting. Like, as in Dooney and the Dooney boys, what? They was getting so much money. Skibu them. Man, it was in so much money. It was a shame, bro. Yeah. Like, if you just pick up what they're saying and how they talk, they're not lying. I them dudes used to leave for the weekend or leave on a Friday, come back on a Saturday to go out Saturday night and Sunday. Mm -hmm. But they used to go shopping in Houston. Like, you talking about them dudes 15 and 16, they got motorbikes and all that. But, like, people don't talk about all that money. Yeah. It's overshadowed by the bullshit. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, um, not, not just one more question about the Eric Maurice dude. So you said that was somebody who you you, you grew up like close Eric to. Like Eric was just yeah. a, like a, a, a older cat, like mm -hmm. who I come up under. Like that's who like like is Eric Maurice, uh, KC, uh, OG KC still alive too. Um, Black and Mo, Dodo, like my OGG who do the podcast with me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nino Daddy, Tanto, um, Stunner. Like, it's just a lot of older dudes who I know who really been through it and they're still around and still doing something. Like, they're still relevant without even, like, trying to get in the way. Man, what, what's up with, um, with, uh, with Stone, bro? Like, I've heard different people mention him in interviews. Obviously, he used to do music, too. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about, you said he was, like, the king of the Magnolia? Oh yeah, um, big homie. Break that down, bro. Big homie. Like this, the big homie in the project. He just looked out for everybody like that. Mm -hmm. And I saw pictures of him like with gangster and different people. They like that was a whole lot big homie. Yeah. Hold on, Stone was gangster's big homie. Yeah. Dang, Stone must have been a, a lot Stone older than what older he looked. Than yeah. Okay. I know he passed away in prison, didn't mm -hmm. he? Yeah. He said he was everybody's big homie. He looked out for everybody. Oh, yeah. But he still had the the, uh, the reputation, too, though. He could fight. Uh, however, whichever which way he wanted to do it. For real. And he was flying. He was a ladies' man. Like, that's it. 
that it just was something different about that project. That's just how we was. Like same thing with KC. Oh gee, I don't heard like the dude. That's uh, Stone Pilot too. Um, BG Derek, I heard him mention oh, yeah, him. Like, I don't heard. I was on, a lot of people don't know I yeah. was on BG Derek. Yeah. Talk about that, man. You so you 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 knew BG Derek. Yeah, he was under my little cousin label. Like Deshaun was my little cousin. New ran smoked out. That's my little cousin. My blood cousin. For real, man. I always thought he was one of the coldest men on that 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 Hot Boys album before. I know I've seen him there. Went, went separate ways, but Derek yeah, was a he was hard to me, bro. Uh, BG Derek. So you got any? Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. You, you said you you knew him too. You got any uh, like stories you can share about him? We did a we did um. It's the Nas record or something me and him did that. Mm. Like I'm on two records on this album. Um, I think it's the Nas record or something we did. That nigga walked out the boot and looked at me like, "That's it, okay." Like we used to be at each other, rabbi. All competitive, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, like I'm just saying. Remember you say just say it with the Mercedes. I'm just saying. That's my real name. So on the album, when you hear it, he say, he shouting people out, he said, we got your Mercedes in here in the Mercedes. I was 16. Go see. You was 16 with a Benz? It was a different kind of money back then. 16. It was a different kind of money back then. Man. And I always ran with older guys. Like, I'm running with Vic and... Uh, warm maze and slam and like I was running with a different kind of group. <laughs> Man, did you um did you have like relationships in the other like projects like the the Melphamine or uh, Calio? Like yeah, that? relationships everywhere. For real, for real. Like the Calio second home. Calio definitely second home. Yeah. Yeah, I got golf kids. My best friend from there, like me and Dodo, like yeah. me and Vaughn, Big U was my bodyguard for years. He made himself my bodyguard. My partner Tweet, I managed Cali above, like. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Man, and I, and I, had a, I had a bar room in the middle. You had a bar room? Uh-huh. That's how me and Sick, me and Sick got back together. The, the dude sick. You said sick. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I had a ballroom. I ain't good with years. But I had a ballroom. This after like this when I had fell back from the music, right? Mm -hmm. I had. I was on. I was on parole, so I couldn't really do no traveling. Mm -hmm. So me and my partner got a ballroom. We got that. We got it right across the street from the mouth. Mm -hmm. So when we opened it. Like, I just started back getting affiliated with, like, a lot of older cats from the Melf, who I used to, we used to be at it back in the day. But they had an old cat on, old OG, uh, I think his name's Silky. OG Silky? Yeah, out the Melf. I'm almost sure his name's Silky. He was in, I think he went to penitentiary. But, like, Larell, Uncle Larell and all that, like, you gotta think, Uncle Larell was with us when we had BG Devil. Uncle Larell out the Melf? Damn, you know yeah, Uncle when Larell Uncle Larell yeah. was with us when when you hit Uncle Larell on on that album, like Uncle, we was all you we all used to hang. Like Uncle Larell, been rapping, man. That's the homie though, like that. Like because let me show you this, like that. Then you have to understand this, right? Um, a lot of times it's not projects against projects. It's clicks inside projects against clicks inside projects. You see what I'm saying? So, like they know swing and they know swing. So everybody don't get into that's why our times were so different though. That's why when people tell you like in our time they wasn't coming to shoot at everybody, they wasn't mad with everybody. They wasn't if they weren't beefing with everybody. So sure. you dig? Like we got kids in each other projects and all that kind of stuff. You're not about to come back there just shooting your might shoot your niece. I'm just be because like that that we just was like that as in our times are coming up. So, like as in we're here. Oh yeah, they about to swing back here, get them kids from out here. Phew, everybody should be getting their kids from out there. They don't want no, say, in our time to them gangsters, they don't want nobody in the way of their bullets. They was trying to hit who they wanted to hit. Like, yeah, we want y'all. 
So it was a different thing of that. Like, that's why you ain't hear that many kids getting killed and women getting killed. Boy, y'all ain't got nothing to do with this business. I don't want, you know, you, motherfuckers know exactly who they're looking for. But that's what old law consists of and people don't understand old law. It protect your family. Your baby. It start getting out of that when it start coming to jacking and shit. But old law, like, you got to think about this like that. And people always run into your cousin or something. What you think? You going to kill your cousin? And then when it beef, like, in our term, beef fuck with money. So don't nobody want the one necessarily beef. Yeah. So even if you're a stepper, like, you don't want to go around here just swinging no chopper. You hit all kinds. You got four people. Now you got four more families looking for you. No. When I was trying to get him, that don't make no sense. So you, I saw motherfuckers who really wanted each other's ass. Yeah. They didn't have no choice. Like, at DJs and shit, sometimes that shit, man, you know how many people be outside of DJ? Niggas literally stand up, be a standoff out there. Once people start realizing, the people start realizing, and they start moving, but... Like, motherfuckers used to want who they want. And they ain't want nobody else. That drive-by shit wasn't really in our thing. Like, and not, not in our city, we, they wasn't, niggas wasn't doing a lot of drive-by. Mm -hmm. Not just no pulling up, shooting no blocks up and all that. It ain't even no sense. The block ain't, none of these people's house ain't did me nothing. Is, is that going on now? Nowadays? Oh, yes. Definitely. It's a lot more, like, reckless. Switch it, baby. <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation that you can talk about that you felt like, you know, it could have went left for you? Been in a million situations where it could have went left. Like, every day in the streets it could go left. Like, when I was coming up, that's just how it was. Like, it's survival. Yeah. You ever been shot? Yeah, I've been mean, shot. Multiple times? <laughs> I've been shot twice. This was when you were younger, or? In between times of me being young. For real? Story for another time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not that I won't. I'm, I'm just, it's other things like whatever I don't talk about is because it's placed up talking about. Like things that people don't know about. Yeah, I mean, but shoot, man, you know, it's exclusive. Documentary, brother. Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, like, that's what I mean, as in, if I don't speak, I ain't gonna feel I don't speak on because mm -hmm. I never tell no motherfucker what we can talk about and what we can't talk about. You can ask me what you want, I'm gonna answer what I want. For sure, for sure. Thank <laughs> you.